As the war rages on in Ukraine, the Biden administration trying to find a way to ease the pain at the pump for Americans. AAA's national average for a gallon of gas unleaded today is 420. That is an increase of 55 cents from a month ago. The Biden administration is playing a balancing act between today's oil prices and green energy alternatives amid Republican demands to do more. News Nation's Raquel Martin is live with us tonight. Raquel. Rita Bay, good evening. Right now, President Biden is calling on Congress to make bold investments into green energy solutions as a way to bring America into energy independence. But this push is not going over well with Republicans who believe it is divorced from the reality that still millions of Americans rely on a traditional fuel. To diminish Russian influence around the world, the Biden administration says it's time the country take a leap towards an independent green future by investing big in clean energy solutions. The president recognizes the time limited nature of this opportunity and the reason uh, for us to go big and bold in this moment. Ali Zaidi is the president's deputy climate advisor. He says the investments will do more than just relieve Americans from fluctuating gas prices. We're also going to reduce our uh, consumption of oil by 2 million barrels per day. So that means less reliance on a volatile commodity and bolstered energy security. The administration is calling on Congress to pass billions in funding to invest in sustainable energy solutions like electric vehicles and solar energy to protect the planet and also national security. But Republicans say it's an especially bad time to make the switch. I'm baffled. On the House floor this week, Republicans like Arkansas Congressman Bruce Westerman argued it's the president's green energy push that sparked the current crisis at the pump. Our constituents are paying almost $5 a gallon to fill their cars. He says instead the administration should focus on ramping up long-term clean oil production. By processing permits, issuing leases, streamlining the, re the regulatory process, and giving our own homegrown industries the ability to use our American resources. And with Congress sharply divided on the issue, this uh, the roadmap to get the president's climate policy across the finish line uh, remains low. But with mounting pressure for the president to try and give Americans some relief at the pump, we know this week the president did announce plans to release one million barrels of oil each day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.